Two thirds being in the affirmative, the rules are suspended, the bill is passed. The U.S. House of Representatives on Wednesday passed a bill cracking down on TikTok. If it were to become law, the measure would force the app's Chinese owner to divest its U.S. assets in six months or face a ban. American lawmakers from both parties have raised alarms that through the Chinese-based parent company ByteDance, the Chinese government could gain access to the personal data of more than 170 million American users. Democratic Congresswoman Anna Eshoo. They can weaponize this data to exploit and manipulate Americans through surveillance and disinformation. The vote comes a little over a week since the bill was proposed and after action in Congress had stalled for more than a year. Ahead of Wednesday's vote, Beijing accused Washington of bullying, and there's plenty of opposition at home as well. Republican Congressman Dan Bishop. The proper relationship between government and citizen in the United States is that the citizen decides what to be exposed to and what ideologies to embrace and consider, and is always free to engage in expression, including across uh, international boundaries. Democratic and Republican lawmakers said their offices had received large volumes of calls from TikTok users who opposed the legislation, with the volume of complaints at times exceeding the number of calls seeking a ceasefire between Israel and Hamas in Gaza. And last month, President Joe Biden's re-election campaign joined TikTok. But last week, Biden said he would sign the bill if it came across his desk. White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said on Tuesday the goal was ending Chinese ownership, not banning TikTok. Do we want TikTok as a platform to be owned by an American company or owned by China? Do we want the data from TikTok, children's data, adults' data, to be going, uh, to be staying here in America or going to China? That is the fundamental question at issue here. The bill faces a more uncertain path in the U.S. Senate, where some senators favor a different approach to regulating foreign-owned apps that could pose security concerns. I looked up five balance sheets on money control. I'll do it on the fly. This took me exactly three minutes, thanks to money control. First uh, thing to come up is money control. So I don't even have to scroll down to look at it. I click and I get what I want. When I started my career, there was a huge information arbitrage between institutional investors and retail investors. The arbitrage gap between institutional and retail investor has disappeared mainly due to money control. 